Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to another draft analysis on my channel. I believe there's two in a week. What is going on? Um, we are here with the APA Little Cup uh, season. I, I, is it season one? Season? It, it's some sort of season. It'll be in the title, whatever it is. But yeah, I got invited to join the Little Cup team via Jack as uh, my friend, obviously Gravy, um, who got in and then he recommended me and, and then I got put in, so that was really nice. Um, I was very quick to accept this invitation, mainly because uh, Little Cup is something I've never done in draft format before and I've only ever kind of tinkered with it on a showdown like for fun, I've never taken it seriously or... Uh, you know, try to climb the ladder or anything like that. So it's it's a relatively new sort of type of thing for me. And honestly, the team building isn't anywhere near as intricate as um, other normal Wi-Fi leagues. Um, and it's a lot of fun to play and see mons that you don't normally see. So I was very quick to accept. It's it's a very it's a very fast-paced game style, um, and, and the team building doesn't take long to build for either. So I felt you know what I can I can fit this in my schedule. I'm I'm quite happy with that. So um, let me try and go for the rules of the um, draft. Uh, I haven't got any sort of references in front of me, so this is going to be completely off the top of my head, so if I'm wrong, I do apologise. Um, there are 20 teams in this division, but we don't play every team. I think we only played 12. Um, I <laughs> I was last in the 20-man draft, so I literally had to feed off the scraps of whatever was left. So just bear that in mind when you see my team. I've had to just kind of take what the best of what was left because I really didn't get much choice. Um, it was a tier system, as you can see on the right hand side. Six Pokemon in the tiers, and then you get four free transactions. You get 200 points. Um, A's are 80, B's are 60, C's are 40, D's are 20. I think that's right, and you're only allowed a maximum of two tier one mons uh, in any given draft. So, um, I think that's pretty much all of the, the basics covered off uh, for the draft rules. Z moves are free. To, you're allowed to switch up your Z move users. There's no restrictions on those, other than obviously no omni boosting moves. Um, I think that's about it for the rules to be honest, it's quite flexible as to what you can do. So with that in mind, let's just get straight ahead in with the team. So I know I've said it once, but remember guys, I was kind of limited just to what I could take because I literally had about 40 picks in between each of mine. So there's a very good chance what I wanted for my team was going to be sniped um, by the time it got back to me. Obviously I did have a wheel pick, so I was guaranteed something I wanted, but I could never guarantee what that wheel pick was going to be until I knew what I was going to get as my pick before. Um, so, we'll start off with our very first drafted Mon, which is Staryu. Now, with my limited knowledge of Little Cup, I do know that Staryu is very good in Little Cup. Um, it's got a great speed tier, um, it's got decent special attack, it's got very good speed. Um, it's actually the second fastest Mon of my team, as we'll get over uh, shortly. Um, decent bulk in 55 in each stat, you can slap in the Violite on this thing. It does get Recover, it does get Rapid Spin, so it's really cool utility, but obviously its move pool is really diverse as well. It gets Psychic, Thunderbolt, all the water moves, ice moves, um, probably Shadow Ball, although I haven't checked to be honest. Lots of sort of moves like that. Um, the only thing probably on the downside of this thing is the HP stat is rather minimal, um, but it does get some you know it gets lots of good things to make up for that and I would say you know it's a very worthy tier one for a reason it does get analytics obviously if I do fancy um, bringing a offensive set my opponent to switch that's gonna be doing a lot of damage it does also get natural cure so I can use this thing for fodder for things like toxic scald um, thunder wave I can always switch back out and just cure myself so some real nice abilities in this thing real nice sort of diversity in being able to bring bulky and being able to bring offensive and I tried to make my team sort of a mixture of these things just so I wasn't forced to bring sort of bulky style so I could bring offensive style if I you know felt the need to at any point so yeah that's pretty much style um, next up uh, wheel pick so obviously I went straight after what I had done I don't know like how little cup what, what sort of types are good in little cup honestly I didn't do any research going into this thing so I just kind of figured you know what let's go um, water fire grass maybe steel dragon fairy at some point if we can 
and then just go from there. I've soon learnt this is probably a mistake, but hey ho. Um, second pick was in fact Crowdiff. Um As you can see, it stats on the screen there. Very nice HP. Defense is the lowest stat it has, but it can cover that up with Intimidate. Um, decent special defense, very good attack and special attack, and decent speed. Um, three great abilities in this thing actually in Little Cup because uh, it gets justified, and knockoff is uh, rife in this, I have realized. Uh, Intimidate is great for lowering attack in general, and Flash Fire does give me a nice fire immunity. Um, Fire could potentially be an issue to my team, which you'll see later on. So, all these abilities on my Growlithe, which could cover up potential team weaknesses, just fit really nice. And again, it pretty much gets the same move pool as Arcanine, other than extreme speed. I don't think there's anything else that different because a lot of Arcanine's good moves do come from uh, egg moves. So, yeah. Um, I know I'm kind of blitzing through this, but there's not a lot to say, to be honest, because you can see all the stats on the screen and you can see how many points I have left. You can see everything like that, I don't need to talk about Z-Move users, I just feel like I'm blitzing through this, but yeah, Growlithe and Staryu were my first two picks, then we had to wait at like a, a few days for it to even get back to me, it was so frustrating, um, but I had no idea what I wanted to pick next, but looking at my team, I could probably do with something that is a ground immunity, um, obviously Staryu takes neutral, but Growlithe is weak, um, so I did decide to actually take Bronzor. Um, needed a stealth rocker as well too, obviously some some hazards up. Um, steel type is nice, it's got a lot of bulk as you can see, defense stats of 86 and 86, HP of 57. Um, this thing's pretty cool in Little Cup because it does get recycled, so you can recycle that very juice up and down. Um, I've put a speed tier of 13, but that's... So I wasn't sure what to put in these boxes. Um, so I've put what their speed would be if it was max investment. So it makes Bronzo look half fast for what it is, but it's really not that fast for what it is. Um, and as you can see, it's one issue I thought it might have is the attack and special attack are quite low. But because Bronzor does luckily get access to powerful stab moves like Flash Cannon and Psychic, the fact those attack moves are that low should never really be an issue. Um, because the pure power of the moves means that the damage is going to be decent. Um, just, yeah, again, great bulk. can run Berry Juice Recycle. I can run um, any other sort of Pinch Berry. I can, or sort of like, you know, Resistance Berry. can run Violite on this thing. Because I do get some Wish Support later on. Um, yeah, it just kind of fits quite nicely with Growlithe. Again, it's also another potential Fire sort of. Not Resist, but... With heat proof, it can do decent against that if I feel I need to bring heat proof. And uh, levitate is always going to be a nice ability because it does help with sort of the ground type weakness, not weakness that I have really, but you know, the, the lack of checks to, to ground I have at the moment. Uh, so, next up, we do take our Axu, round four Axu. Um, I figured I probably needed some sort of wall breaker at this point, um, which I didn't have previously. So, sort of looking at the stats a bit. HP is eh, a bit mediocre. Special attack is low, we obviously don't need it. Speed at 57 doesn't really matter because it hits the 16 speed tier. A um, bit like my Growlithe, which is obviously base 60, but also hits 16. Speed tiers are weird in Little Cup. Um, not bad bulk um, to aid pretty much whatever actually wants to do, which is of course Dragon Dance or maybe Swords Dance. Um, attack stat at 57 with Mold Breaker um, or Unnerve. Mold Breaker is fantastic. Um, obviously to ignore abilities, but this thing doesn't get like a ground move, so I don't need to ignore levitate. So I think I'll probably be, be sort of bringing a nerve more often than not, especially with the amount of berries that are in the, the meta for Little Cup. I feel, I can actually see this as more of a, a useful ability than a mold breaker. Obviously it'll be matchup dependent, but yeah, Axie will probably be my main Z user all season. Um, you know, probably also pretty much be set up all season, but it's kind of what it does, you know, mid-game breaking, late-game cleaning. There's not many Dragon Resists in Little Cup either, there's Steel Types and Fairy Types, obviously. Otherwise, there aren't many of them, and Axe, you can kind of get the coverage for, for those, and Superpower, and I want to say it gets Poison Jab, but I'm probably wrong there. It does get decent coverage, it doesn't get quite the same coverage as Haxorus does. But it's still very good and good enough to the point where, you know, you, you can cover a whole team's sort of weaknesses, I guess, in one moveset and, and be able to just 
wreck train with this thing. And like I said, Z moves with Dragon Claw Outrage are going to be doing a lot of damage to almost anything in this meta. So I'm really excited to use Axew. It's probably the one I'm actually excited to use the most out of my whole draft. So after Axew, again, we had to wait like 40 picks or 38 picks or whatever it may be. Um, and then it finally came back to us. So at this point, a lot of the grass types had gone. And I was looking at what I could get, and then I realised that I would have to probably end up taking Oddish. Um, Oddish is actually a lot bulkier than I thought it was, um, which is quite nice. And it actually has a, has a higher attack stat than I ever realised too. But again, um, bulky, it works with the uh, Bronzor fairly well. Um, other than obviously the common weakness to fire, but I do have Staryu and Growlithe and Axew that all resist that. Um, it's just nice bulk. It's a grass type. It means I'm immune to the spore type moves. Um, it's also a poison type, so it's a toxic switch in. More importantly, it's a fighting type switch in because I didn't have one of those at that point. I didn't have anything weak to fighting, but I obviously didn't enjoy taking on fighting hits. Um, it's another slow mon, so I could potentially run Trick Room with Bronzor and Oddish. But it's also got Chlorophyll, um, so if my opponent does decide to bring Sun, I think there is someone with a Sun team. And I can also kind of cause you know, a bit of havoc with uh, Oddish that way. Um, not a lot for me to say, to be honest. Its move pool isn't sort of the most diverse offensively, but as, as a grass type, it does get access to all those cool spore moves, other than spore. Uh, it does get Moonlight, so it can heal. It gets Moonblast, which is a really nice fairy move to have. Um, obviously, Kicker Drain, Sludge Bomb. Um, there's probably a few other moves that it gets that I can't remember off the top of my head. It's kind of here to be bulky, but it's also bulky offense with 75 special attack. That's a huge special attack stat, which I didn't actually realize it had until I kind of drafted it. So you can tell I put a lot of thought and effort into this draft plan. But yeah, um, that was the fifth pick. That was Oddish. And then my other tier three pick, I had to do it. I had to take my the baby me. It is the Fampy. Now I will own up, put my hands up here and admit I had a stupid moment here. I drafted it thinking it also had rapid spin. It doesn't. Game Freak, why? Why does it not have Rapid Spin? But looking at it, it's a really nice, bulky, offensive, physical attacker. Um, speed tier is 14, which is quite nice, actually, because if I did decide to put a Choice Scarf on it, it does outspeed, I think, pretty much the whole of the meta game of Little Cup, other than anything else that is uh, plus one speed or a Choice Scarfer. HP of 90, which is absolutely enormous for Little Cup. Defense of 60. Which means this thing is a really good defensive wall. Um, special defense of 40, attack of 60, special attack of 40, speed of 40. So um, it's quite obvious what this thing wants to do. It's it's bulky on the physical side. It can be defensive, it can be offensive. It does obviously have stab earthquake, which is really powerful. But we all know that Fampy, Fampy and Don Fan do get a really diverse move pool through the move tree, so it gets things like Seed Bomb, Gunk Shot, lands Ice Shard through Egg Moves, it gets Play Rough, Earthquake, I think Fampy gets Rock Slide but not Stone Edge, but still very good coverage, it gets Stealth Rock. Um, yeah, Fampy just, it just kind of fit my, the bill of a bit of physical offensive presence and bulk, um, and it did give me another Stealth Rock option, but I did also think it was another spinner. but. Turns out in Little Cup it doesn't matter so much, you don't need so much defog or spinning or anything like that. Like I said, new to the format, but Fampy is actually going to be kind of fun because its stab earthquakes are, are hard to check and its its move pool as a whole are hard to check. So next up is uh, Voltorb, I'm a free agent, I believe he was tier 3. Um, I was looking at this point and there were not many electric types left at all. And I thought to myself, okay, outside of Oddish, I might struggle against water types. So Voltorb seems to make sense, although it's not the greatest offensively sort of move pool wise. Uh, special attack at 55 in Little Cup seems to be reasonable because, you know, you can boost it with items like Life Orb and it does it. It boosts it by quite a lot. And also, like I said, free Z moves, so I can just chuck a Z move in this thing if I really am worried about a water type. Speed stat of 100 is, is the greatest part here, I think. That's like the fastest little cub mon. It hits the same speed tier as Diglett um, and my weak one opponent does have Diglett but otherwise this thing's going to be outspeeding a lot of the meta in this league which is really nice it gives me fast vault switch, it gives me fast reflect and light screen, it gives me fast explosion if that's what I ch uh, choose to do. Um, 
yeah, I mean, there's not a lot else to really say. I mean, it gets soundproof, so there's some checks to potential boom burst shenanigans. Um, although there's not many boom burst users in Little Cup and other sound moves. I don't know what sound moves there may be. Um, or Aftermath is quite nice, just getting some extra damage off once you've died. But yeah, this thing's move pool is really limited to pretty much Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, um, or Signal Beam, or Hidden Power, and then some kind of support move, because that's all this thing has. But it's a fast taunter. It's got, like I said, screens. It can explode if I need the momentum. It's it's half decent. I'm looking forward to actually using it because I've never used Electrode, but I feel like Voltorb can do more of a job in Little Cup than Electrode can do in a uh, normal draft format. Next up, um, I am looking at my team and I am still rather fighting weak. I actually do not have a resist other than Oddish. So, uh, oh, and I, do, I also do not have a Fairy. I have Steel Dragon and Bronze or an Axe so I figured I'd better pick up a Fairy. But again, they're getting rather limited and I still need a Tier 4 Mon. So I do decide to get Togepi. Because Togepi is actually rather gross in bulk and has usable special attack. HP is rather low, speed is obviously low, and attack is obviously low. I think this might be the slowest thing on my draft. Um, but it can be a wish supporter. People will know from using Togekiss and seeing Togekiss, this thing's move ball is ridiculous. It gets soft boiled to self heal, it gets wish to wish pass, it gets nasty plot, it gets baton pass. Although I believe baton pass is banned in this league. Also, if you can hear me yawn, I'm so sorry, it is currently 5 to 9. I literally woke up 20 minutes ago. Um, I don't know if Baton Pass is legal or not, but if I am allowed to pull off Nasty Plot Baton Pass shenanigans with uh, something like maybe Voltorb or uh, Growlithe or Staryu, then that would be quite fun, I would have to say. Um, but yeah, this thing again is just kind of here to be annoying. It's a fighting check, it's a dark check, there's a lot of knockoff spam. Outside of Growlithe, I don't really have anything for it, so this will kind of take it, although it will rely on a Violite and I will lose my Violite. But it's better for this to take the knockoff than anything else I would say on, on, on my team. Um, obviously this thing does have Serene Grace, which is great, so I can get the extra effects of all these cool moves it does get. Um, so there'll be Paralysis, Burns, Poisons flying around everywhere, and I love it. So I'm actually really excited to use Togepi. I actually think it'll probably come more than I expected it to when I first drafted it. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So then again, we had to wait all that time for it to come back to me. My penultimate pick was the uh, Maurer. Um, a third Stealth Rocker. That's, that's, that's probably overkill in Little Cup with Stealth Rocks. I don't know. Um, but I wanted to kind of get a Ice type because I, I Ice, well, Rock type because I'm rather flying weak at this point. Um, I have Bronzor to check it, and I have Voltor to check it, otherwise that's about it. So Amara does give me um, some kind of flying check uh, in both its stabs and also it resists the, the flying type moves with obviously being a rock type. Um, it also gives me a form of weather control because I think in this league there might be rain and there might be sun and there might be, I say, might be other hail, there is other hail but that's not really going to help with Amora. Um, this thing's also kind of like a setup sweeper um, in my eyes with rock polish, um, but it's also kind of like a wall breaker. Kind of, um, it's got very nice hit. It's got very nice defensive stats actually for Little Cup. It's got 77 HP, 50 defense, 63 special defense, so it can be bulky. But the fact it's got quad weakness to steel and fighting makes it rather hard because it's quite easy to, you know, sort of um, build for offensively. Um, but it does have 56 attack, 67 special attack, 46 speed. So it does hit the 15 speed tier, which is fairly common in this format. And like I said, it can set up, it has rock polish, so that can, it can double that and become super speedy dinosaur. Um, it does get refrigerate, so obviously I can do refrigerate hyper voice, refrigerate return, whatever way I want it to go, refrigerate hyper beam if I'm really ballsy. Um, what was I going to say? Or also it does get snow warning, so if I do need to control weather, and I can also spam blizzard with it. So this thing will be really nice against um, the uh, fire dude, whoever drafted Volt Picks, um, just to spam rock moves against that, uh, and also spam blizzards against all the grass types. But yeah, this thing, it just kind of, you know, I wanted more type coverage, it's another stealth rocker, it's quite fat, it's something that I 
had to con- I, I wanted to consider getting in the first place but also the fact that because we're so late in the draft and there were 20 teams and I was right at the end there wasn't much left for me to take and I had to fit 100 points into two mons and Amara just seemed to give me the most of my money at this point so then we did go on to our final pick so I did get the first pick of the final round but again not really a lot left for me to take from so I did decide to take Shop It not everything I've seen used before in Little Cup but um, really strong offensively um, defense stats are there to be obviously on the screen uh, left to be desired speed stat isn't great but again it hits that 15 speed tier and it does have really good special attack and attack now I can see this thing kind of being like a, a, a trick up my sleeve because it does get uh, Z snatch which is plus two and it does get sucker punch and it does get shadow sneak so strong stab uh, priority in shadow sneak strong priority in sucker punch it also does get coverage moves mainly more on the special side than the physical side but there aren't many ghost resists in a little cup there's a lot of normal types but that can be covered with other moves like just having plus two return or something like that and those normal types may not necessarily be able to do too much to me in return um so yeah the shop it I'm, I'm hoping i can at least make it work but um looking at my team I don't have a flying type. There aren't any flying types left, I don't think, in the draft other than Swablu. Um, <laughs> so there's not really a lot with me uh, for me to work with. But I do feel that maybe Bird Spam in Little Cup is a lot better than, than what I have at the moment. So I need to look at the team. And I would like to say Shop is the most expendable if I am going to make a transfer in the future. But we don't know what that will be yet. Um, but yeah, Shop it also has a like really nice access to a lot of support moves because obviously Bannet has a lot of support moves with Prankster as its ability when it's a Mega. Um, I don't actually know what this thing's ability is. I want to say it's got Levitate and I want to say it's also got Cursed Body. But I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I I'm, I'm want to bring this like a late game sweeper. One game, Z Snatch. Um, and then just Shadow Sneak everything to death. That, that's pretty much the only reason I drafted it. I feel like it's got something in it and I should, I should be able to give it a go. So yeah, that's my real sort of quick flyby tour of my Little Cup team. I appreciate that if you think it's uh, I talk nonsense, it's because I did, it's because I'm just awake. And I want to play Persona. I booted up Persona and then was like, oh wait, I have to record this today and upload it. So um, sorry if it's a bit rushed, but everything that I need to explain is kind of on the screen, other than moves and the abilities, which I think I covered for some things, but never mind. Um, the I have played two weeks worth of games already actually so they'll be coming up in the next few weeks um, but make sure you do subscribe if you want to see more little cut battles and also the UPBA which is another league I'm in at the moment another Wi-Fi league um, also make sure you check out all the links in the description below otherwise I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you later